TGIF everyone, Friday morning video blog time as we've got some busy weather coming over the next couple of days. Let's get right to it. Here is the radar at 10 till 9 this morning. We have some rain pushing into uh, central and southwest Ohio. Notice we do actually have a little bit of a frozen precipitation trying to show up on the radar in central Ohio. There can be a brief period of, of, of sleep pellets and maybe even a touch of freezing rain or a few light snowflakes in central Ohio. Not worried about this in our region because by the time the rain gets up here, uh, it's going to be warm enough that it's just it's just plain old rain for the afternoon. So that was the radar loop as of uh, 10 till 9 this morning. Let me bring up the high resolution model here, show you what the radar will look like later on. This is at 2 p.m. The high resolution model showing the uh, simulated radar here, the rain pushing in from the south and west by, you know, somewhere between 1 and 2 on average is when the rain will start. If you live in far southwestern Columbiana County, you might even see the rain a little bit before 1 o'clock. As we go into the afternoon, then, some pretty steady rain. It's pretty much just a, a soaker of an afternoon across uh, our part of the country. It's going to rain steadily through at least sunset. Here's 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. I think the steadiest of the rain will be just about out of here as I hit the air this evening on 21 News at 6. And then for the rest of the evening, we're talking about some real light rain or spots of drizzle. That'll probably be the case for a lot of the night tonight, actually. You might have to flip on the wipers occasionally, but that steady rain that we had earlier on will be out of here for the uh, the overnight tonight. I'm going to skip Saturday because it's a quiet day Saturday with uh, clouds and mild temperatures. Let's talk about Sunday because that's a busy day. Here's Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Low pressure almost right over Youngstown or maybe right over Pittsburgh. It'll be raining as you get up Sunday morning. Temperatures will still be fairly mild in the lower 40s. But as that low slips off to the east, the cold air rushes in behind it. And I think by lunchtime, we're already transitioning over to some snow showers as temperatures fall and the wind picks up. So it's going to feel and look a lot different Sunday afternoon than first thing Sunday morning. And by Sunday evening, we're left with, you know, leftover flurries, a snow shower here and there. And uh, those flurries will probably stick around right through Sunday night and early on Monday. Now, what's the deal with the snow? Uh, I think during the daylight hours on Sunday, it's going to have a hard time sticking on paved surfaces. Sure, you can get a, a coating, a half an inch, maybe Sunday afternoon on your grass, on your car top, that sort of thing. But I think the roads will be okay. A little bit concerned as we go past sunset. As temperatures continue to fall, we lose the we lose the uh, the solar <laughs> influence uh, that uh, even some of the sidewalks and side streets and parking lots and maybe even a few of the major roads could turn a little bit slick Sunday evening. Not worried about school closings or delays Monday morning. This will be over by that point. Here's a look at uh, some of the computer modeling for snowfall accumulations. The GFS, the red line here, uh, up to two inches. It's probably overdone. Uh, the uh, European and the NAM model, half an inch to an inch. I think that's a little more reasonable. The uh, National Weather Service odds of more than one inch of snow look like this. Now, the legend is kind of small down in the corner here, a little hard to read, but uh, around southern Columbiana County, this is about 20 to 30 percent. Up here in Mahoning County, Lawrence County, this is 30 to 40 percent. And your chance of more than one inch of snow in the northern part of our viewing area is generally somewhere between 50 and 60, maybe you could call it 70%. So I think some of us are going to get an inch or so worth of snow out of this, but a lot of us won't, especially in the southern part of our viewing area. For a lot of us, this will be just kind of a you know mood snow, if you will, not really doing much to the roads, but uh, making it feel and look a little more like the season. So we're going to be fine-tuning the snow forecast, of course, over the next couple of days. Again, don't think it's a real big deal and certainly not concerned about Monday morning. It's going to be windy on Sunday. Uh, the models are a little bit all over the place here, but generally speaking, you can kind of pick out the trend here. The wind's going to be gusting Saturday night into Sunday between 20 and maybe even 40 miles per hour fairly regularly. So it's going to be a windy period across the valley as we head into the second half of the weekend. All right, we'll keep you up to date over the next couple of days. Jeff's will have a fresh seven-day forecast at midday today. You'll see me tonight on 21 News at 6 and 11, and we'll have more uh, coverage and analysis of the uh, weather situation over the next week. There'll be more chances for snow next week. It looks awfully cold. We'll talk about all that on weather for Weather Geeks this evening on my weather blog at wfmj.com weather. We'll see you then.